Hey there nail friends! Today I'm featuring how to chrome and today I'm using iGel Beauty's Supernova Chrome Pigment Kit. I won this kit in a giveaway in the official iGel Beauty group and this is the manicure that won that giveaway. So here is an unboxing of the Supernova nail pigment. It comes with six pigments and some of them are metallic, some of them are holographic, and some of them are like a chameleon color shift. They give you a nice set of directions on the back, which is nice. This retails for $220. No way would I ever pay $220 for this. Maybe with the 60% off, but I'm not really into pigments, but this has allowed me to get to know them a little bit better. So it comes with a no cleanse top coat and it also comes with a jet black polish as black polish intensifies chrome pigment. The colors that it comes with are rainbow halo or rainbow hollow, which is a rainbow holographic. It also comes with sunset paradise, which is a chameleon shift, silver chrome, which is just a silver chrome. Pink Peacock, which is another chameleon shift. Vintage Gold, which is just a vintage gold, like a little bit darker than your average gold. And Mystic Mermaid, which is another chameleon shift. And it also comes with this really nice silicone brush. So I'm going to be using swatch sticks and I'm going to prepare my swatch sticks with the jet black. I'm going to be swatching the underside of the swatch stick because it's just easier and it won't bulk up the swatch. I will be applying two coats of jet black to each swatch. I'm only going to show you one swatch because I'm going to be doing the same exact thing to each and every swatch. This black polish was really nice. It wasn't super thick. It was fully opaque in two coats. I will admit I was a little lazy applying them. I did apply them a little bit too thick, but that was just me. So I cured that for 30 seconds and I am now going to apply my second coat of Jet Black and cure it again for another 30 seconds in my iGel Beauty Hybrid UV LED lamp. I will link this lamp below, it's excellent. One pro about swatching the underside is that you don't need to apply top coat if you're just going to be swatching colors. I still need to apply top coat to get the chrome effect but here you can see I did all of my swatches and now we are going to go in with the chrome pigments. This one is called Pink Peacock and it shifts from a gorgeous hot magenta, like a hot pink, to a gold. It's absolutely stunning. Here you can see the color shift. The camera does not pick it up and it does not do its justice, but this is the best you can see it. Here is Sunset Paradise. It's another chameleon shift chrome. And this one goes from a burnt orange to a gold and has a little bit of a green undertone in there. And now we have vintage gold is it's a little bit darker than your average gold it's not super gold like jewelry it's almost like a green tone gold it's really really pretty and we have your average silver chrome it did spill a little bit but it did not come out of the packaging And these are nice two gram jars. Then we have rainbow halo or rainbow hollow, which is your typical rainbow holographic chrome. And then we have mystic mermaid, which is gorgeous. It goes from green to purple. Oh, it's stunning and blue in there. Navy. This one's beautiful. Totally reminds me of a mermaid. Oh, 
Okay, and we're finally going to get to the how-to part of the video. I'm going to be swatching first vintage gold. So I'm going to be taking my prepared swatch stick and then I'm going to be taking this no cleanse top coat. Um, this was the first time I was opening this top coat and unfortunately it was very thick. I did try putting it in hot water. Luckily, I had another Eye Gel Beauty no cleanse top coat and their customer service is excellent. I have already contacted them and they will be sending me a replacement. So what you're going to do is apply your no cleanse top coat a fairly thin layer on the top of your swatch or your fingernail and then you're going to flash cure it for only 10 seconds. This allows the gel to have something to grab onto when you chrome. And this was my first time using a silicone brush. I was super excited and wow, it is amazing. I love it. I'm going to be using it for chromes and foils and flakes. It has such a great variety. So then you're just going to pick up a little bit of the chrome on your brush or your silicone brush and you're going to just rub 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 and when you rub it it's going to start transferring and you can see there you go it's basically done so now you just brush off the excess with a little brush and then you are going to put another coat of no cleanse top coat on top and cure it for the full cure time my cure time is 30 seconds And you can see it's a stunning deeper gold color perfect for the holiday season chroming is one of the easiest way to get nail art and so to remove the excess chrome I'm just going to use a, an alcohol wipe and it fairly quickly and easily wiped it all off so I can move on to the next color so I'm going to be swatching all of the colors so just veg out watch You'll see me mess up in a little bit, so just hang tight. Hey guys, just jumping in, here is where you're going to see me mess up. So I applied my no cleanse top coat and then I put it in my lamp and I thought the lamp started to cure and it never actually turned on. I never pressed it on because it's a light sensor. So if I put my hand in, it works. But in order for me to have it for a swatch, I need to press the button. So you can see I applied my chrome on my silicone brush and then I started brushing on and it was clumpy and you can see I'm human I'm showing you my mistakes not everyone's perfect but what's easy about gel is that it just wipes off because it was not cured so all I had to do was take an alcohol wipe wipe it off you can even just use a regular little paper towel and I reapply my no cleanse top coat and this time I made sure I cured for the full 10 seconds So just keep vegging out and I'll just jump in back at the end.
And here are all of the beautiful swatches that this chrome kit could make. It's absolutely stunning. You can ombre these chromes. You can do so much with these chromes. They're really, really fun. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at Dippin' with Carolina. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.